We're all good? Yeah. Alright, close it up. It's like there's only two of us, but seemingly so much stuff. It always takes longer than I think it'll take to load up. Got everything loaded up and it's, again, way more stuff than I thought for two people, but we're off. And I think we got everything for the Overland Rally. Uh, got a buddy of mine joining us at Whistler. And if I forget anything, he can pick it up, right? So that's, that's a good thing. All right, let's go. Hey, how are you? Hey. Yep. Hey, hey how's how it going? going? Yeah, great. How are you? Mm -mm -mm. Smokies. Thanks for setting up the chairs, bud. We saw how many bears today? Uh, two plus a cub. Yes. There are, there's a mama bear and a cub up there. We are at Whistler Olympic Park. I've never been here actually. I guess this is where they had the jumping, ski jumping event for the 2010 Winter Olympics. It was pretty cool. This year at uh, the Overland Rally, they have in the quiet spot, they have uh, grass for ground tenters. So that's welcomed over last year's dust bowl, for sure. Couple of your videos and stuff. Oh, yeah, so. thanks for watching. Um, yeah. On the back side of your tent, is it okay if I come across my line a bit and put a stake in? Cool. Okay. okay. Thanks very much. All right. <laughs> we'll make sure for me. Going to the campfire, and really, the main goal is to win prizes at the raffle. What shall we win this year, buddy? Or at least something, right? A Jeep with all the accessories. A Jeep with all the accessories. <laughs> it was one of the neatest things, and if I hadn't been hypothermic, we never would have found those things. A road to try to hike with the broken canoe cart. <laughs> She's running. She can't make it through. Hey, good morning. It's day one of the Overland Rally. Slept okay last night. Woke up to a little bit uh, chilly conditions, clouded over, but not raining, which I'm quite happy about. Set up the solar for the first time since I picked it up. And it's putting in a little power as long as it can top up a little bit. Uh, instead of being in a deficit situation, I'm happy about beautiful surroundings. Um, 
black bear grazing on the ski jump hill. So we're gonna get some breakfast and see what's going on with the trail runs today. All right, let's go. Bit of a, a bear thing going on right now. The park staff is trying to make sure the bear doesn't get too close to the campsites. Using some uh, big old firecrackers. Without, I'm not sure what they're called. Do. Yeah. Oh, I want, I want. Oh, the hunt for patches continues. We got two more. We got one last night from Jerry at Temple Tusk. Yes. What? There's a microwave here. Good discovery, buddy. <laughs> The rain has crept back in, but we're going to go on a trail ride with the Four Drive Association of BC. We're going to go to the meetup point and head to a run or an area called Sioux Valley. Yay, more patches. We're on our way to fill in up the headliner. Every time we come to a corner, make sure the person behind you sees you make that corner. We don't need, you know, we're going off this way and people go off the other way and then we're trying to figure out where they are. Go have a little fun, hopefully it's we see pain. some things. Yep. And if you see a bear, don't feed it. <laughs> you can pet it, you can ride it, just don't feed it. Okay guys, let's jump in and go. Let's go get this done so we can all get back to camp for dinner time. This is Sioux Valley, just finished airing down and meeting up with the other drivers uh, with the trail leaders and so just establishing some ground rules make sure everyone stays safe and makes it back to the camp All right, just paused here, the side of the Forest Service Road, waiting for the lead guy to check out ahead to see if we have visibility in this certain section that's supposed to have great views into the valley. So we're waiting here, we're just hanging outside, and I don't know if you can see behind me, but you know, everyone's just kind of chilling outside, waiting for the dude to come back. And I was waiting out there for a while, and the mosquitoes were just too much for me. I know, I know, city boy. But, you know, after you get like bitten three times, 
on the one hand within the first minute or two it's I braved it out for a little bit you know as much as a city boy can oh, it looks like the end of the road I'm gonna turn around behold this is my buddy Adam's redneck setup <laughs> hey buddy oh I like the microphone <laughs> what's up oh and he's cooked up some oh man that looks so amazing some wings by the barbecue thank you bro yeah and uh King Noah, there. King Noah hanging out in this throne all right let's get eating What's going on right now? Um, there is the RCMP that was blocking the, uh, the Forest Service Road and they said that the area is closed off because of a missing person. So I don't know what it means for our run today. It was really, looking, it was really shaping up to be a good looking run. I hope they find the missing person, but quite honest, I'm a little bit bummed. Yeah, yeah, it does. Road is closed. We, this is just the start of it, too. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we'll have to adapt here. Okay. This drop. Okay, this is gonna be uh, our first and last drop. It's good knowing you, Adam. Oh, that's a pretty steep drop. It doesn't look, it looks flat in the car though. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed steering inputs on the off camber. No big, uh, you know, scabs and crawl or break. It's gonna be nice and smooth and let the car just to stay balanced. Yeah? Off you go. You bet. Enjoy.
I set a rock down in the gut. Yeah. And everything. I've just sort of been watching people as they'd be going through and almost everyone hit that right? rock. <laughs> it's a mental thing. That's right. So I'll okay. have you go down the road yeah. mm -hmm. and enjoy the scenery. Okay, thanks very much. No problem. You okay. have an awesome day. You too. Take care. Bye. What's going on there, Adam? We're going to, uh, we're just putting some sauce on the wings. Yep. And they're going on the barbecue. I like that shaking action you got going on. Yeah, eh? Yeah. Just see how I shake a tambourine. <laughs> Whoa, what is, dude, what is that? <laughs> the chef knife. Are you planning to take out some zombies? No, because it's easy to use on the barbecue and then you can flip it stuff like this without having to pack a spatula. Camp tips. Camp tips. By Adam. That's right. This is Iron Chef Camp Edition. <laughs> what you doing with that with veg? Gonna make a little uh, kind of hash here. We're gonna put it uh, with some chicken and uh, put it on the barbecue. Sounds like a pretty awesome MacGyver, man. Yeah, for sure. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Thanks for dragging me up here a second time. And same day, buddy. last day of overland rally just packing up and of course the sun is out and blue skies are all around us I'm glad that the tent and stuff had a bit of a chance to dry out but a little bit sad to leave especially with the weather getting so nice uh, Noah's a bit uh, bummed too that he couldn't stay a little bit longer because the weather has gotten better but it's been a fantastic weekend yesterday we went on a great run with revolution thanks to don and crew our plans were cut short on our original route right at the beginning but we had to make an alternate route and that trip was still very nice beautiful views and in the second year of the raffle at the campfire we managed to win some stuff and uh, maybe I'll show you. Just you know, let me get the stuff. Special cameraman, guest star, Adam behind the camera. Thanks, dude. Uh, I don't have all the prizes in front of me, but when we were at the raffle last night and Ray was announcing the numbers, I checked my raffle ticket. I could not believe my eyes. Mind you, my eyes are kind of shot nowadays because my vision is so poor. So I had to like do a double and triple check really quickly. And I was like, wow, we won this. And so I went to... I looked at Noah and I said, dude, you gotta pick it up. And he was like, what? No, no, you gotta pick up the prize right now. Because what happens at the, the raffles, as you guys know, is a certain phrase, is burn it. Burn it! If there's a count to three, and if no one claims a prize, the raffle ticket goes in the count bar. So in a hurry, I get Noah up there and he grabs the prizes. So what we want here is from uh, Kakadu, camping is the vendor. Oz Trail LED light strip. I rocked that in the Jeep somehow. And uh, a trash bag for the spare by Oz Trail. I think I've seen something like this before. So it's uh, it's got PVC uh, material on the outside, so it should be more waterproof, water resistant than the trash roof, so I'm looking forward to getting that. There's one more prize that Noah has claimed is the uh, UFO light, LED light from Australia as well. So wrapping up here, got to get the gear, 
put away. Meanwhile, Adam is ready to go. He just jump in his uh, his beastly full size and leave us behind with folding all their stuff. But yeah, it's been a great weekend. Thanks, bro. I forgot to record. I'm just joking. <laughs>